device not supported. Will it Fortnite run on my Android phone? That has to be one of the biggest questions that I received after my previous video and everybody's listing the names of their phones wanting to know whether Fortnite will run on their particular phone. So today I'm going to show you the right way where you can check to see your phone's hardware spec compared to the Fortnite requirements and to see whether the two will marry up and whether you can in fact run Fortnite for Android on your device and not get a device not supported. Hey guys, welcome to another Talking Tech with a Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make technology simple. And yes, that's what I do on this channel. Besides talking a lot with my hands, I share with you gadgets and tips and tricks, making you more efficient, getting in more out of your system, and I don't use the geek speak. I'll make it simple so everybody can understand. If that sounds cool to you, take a quick second and smash that subscribe button, which is down here, I think. And let's get on to today's show. So today we're talking about Fortnite for Android and people that have already gone into the web, found some weird installation files, clicked on those links, opened their phones up and then hopefully installed Fortnite. Well, that doesn't work. I've had many, many people send me emails, tweets and DMs to say, help, I think I've bricked my phone or help, my camera's constantly on, something doesn't seem to be right. Well, when you install from the non-official store, this is actually what's going to happen. The developer can put absolutely anything inside that app you think it's Fortnite and well, now we have problems. To check if your phone is actually compatible or your device, because it could be a tablet as well, to see if it's compatible with Fortnite, what you gotta do is you gotta see what your device specifications are. Now these three specifications that we're looking for. One is the memory on the device. How much RAM does it have? Number two, what version of Android are you running? And number three, what is your GPU, your graphics processing unit? Don't worry, I will take you through all this. Okay, so firstly, let's have a look at what are the official Android Fortnite specs and phones that are actually compatible. So if you go onto the Epic Games website, you'll be able to see the official phones that are supported and then some of the unsupported ones, but they're going to be available pretty soon in the near term, as they say. So here's the important section. This says these are the minimum hardware specs they require. Android 5.0, it needs to have 3 gigs of RAM, and it needs to have these specs for the GPU. In other words, your graphics processing unit. So if your phone has it, it should run. How do you know if your phone has it? Let me show you. So, first thing you do is you head off to a site called gsmarena.com. And in that site, you basically look up your phone. So let's just look up the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, for example. Once you do that, it will bring up the spec sheet. What this phone has. And we're going to look for those three items. So firstly, we're going to look for the platform. Is it running Android 8.1? Yes. Remember, this is what they wanted was Android 5 or higher. So it works. Now the memory, let's look at that. What has it got? It's got 8 gigs of RAM or 6 gigs of RAM if you've got the 128 unit. What is, and it's required for Fortnite is 3 gigs of RAM, so that's perfectly fine. It also has got the Mali G72 processor, GPU processor, which is exactly the kind of spec that they want. So this phone will absolutely run Fortnite, and that's how you tell. Now, let's do a different phone. So let's check out, um, I don't know, something like the LG G4 as an example. Will, if you have the LG G4, will Fortnite for Android work? So again, let's go back to those three items that we need to worry about. Firstly, the platform, Android 5.1. In other words, it's more than 5.0 or higher. Perfect. Three gigs of RAM, just making in on the memory side. And it's got the Adreno 418 chip. Now, uh -oh, this we might have a problem because they need the Adreno 530. So what we do is head off to Wikipedia, go to the Adreno website and find the chip that's actually required. Then go look for the chip that the phone has. And this one you can see is further up the table indicating that it's an older chipset and therefore it might not work. All right, let's do another phone. Go back to GSM Arena. This time let's look up the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime. Quite a popular phone. And we're gonna look for those three things again. So first thing we're gonna look for is the platform. And it's Android 6.0, so that's fine because it needed 5 and above, so that's perfect. Let's go look and see at the memory. 
and here you can see it's got three gigs of RAM so just bring it in the problem is here it's got Mali at a T830 chip now I'm not sure whether that is more advanced or less advanced than what they um, required so I go to Wikipedia page look up the Mali page and then here I scroll down until I find the chip that they actually want which was the G71 which is a little bit further down there it is G71 and the G72 so I'm assuming that anything above that is actually going to be too old to run and I'm afraid that that other chip the 830 is actually above it so I have a feeling that that's not going to run by the way that's only if I'm reading this chart correctly the ones further down are more powerful newer the one further up are older and less powerful so now this is a problem the GPU is older so I know what you're going to do someone's going to go to Fortnite Android and then type their Fortnite Android GPU not compatible and they're going to see what other people have done here is where the problem is going to be because once again you're going to get all these weird and wonderful videos they're going to show you how to fix the device how to fix the GPU not working problem and they're going to recommend you download guess what yet another APK and when you click on that APK you go to some Google Drive and you can download who knows what onto your computer don't do this so the message here is clear. Do not install APK files or links from anywhere on the internet except for the official Google Play Store. Now in this rare example, we have a situation where Epic Gaming wants you to install it directly from them. And this is as I feared in the first video, which will be linked somewhere here. This is where the problem starts because people are now putting weird and wonderful stuff into those APK, labeling them as Fortnite, giving you a cute Fortnite icon and you think it's the right thing and then you're going to have issues. Please, please, please do not install APK files from anywhere except for the Google Play Store. And again, thank you for hanging out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us a lot. Don't forget to subscribe because you're cool like that and you want to be part of this. And I'll see you guys on the next episode and check out some of these other videos. Cheers for now.